All right, we're here with Coach Adam Strum of the Haskell Indian Nations University Indians after their first round game against Thomas More University. Coach, just an opening statement, if you could. Uh, extremely proud to be in this moment, um, you know, and we knew Thomas More, you know, coming in was a number one seed, and, and they were all, um, you know, they're built up to be successful program, quality coach, and just, uh, but, but to have that uh, be, you know, a kind of a capsule of our season is unjust. I, I was extremely proud of, of where the, how far the ladies came. After not playing for a season last year and this being your first year, talk about the run that it took for you guys to make it to the national tournament and get to that national level. Uh, yes, yeah, so as the first year head coach and, and new to the Midwest, I, I came from the Pacific Northwest out of Washington State and um, you know, no COVID uh, year last year, so no basketball last year coming in. Uh, from day one, I knew we had talent. I mean, I knew that we were capable of some good things. Um, you know, we started out with nearly 30. We had a varsity and a varsity reserve. And some of these players that you saw today were members of the varsity reserve, made their way up to the varsity. And so, you know, we were like right around 500 the whole season, but it took me as a first year coach um, learning about the program and, and learning about you know strengths and weaknesses but um, definitely from day one I knew we had some talent to, to make a run and I think you want to play your best at the right time today was an example of that but the CAC tournament I thought we played really well and then looking forward to the future you guys will if we graduate and only lose a couple of players it looks very bright for Haskell I would imagine you would agree so only losing a couple players is kind of an uh, understatement due to the fact not the players what they exhibited on the court but they're off the court um, their leadership uh, just the overall buy-in as seniors and captains day-to-day um, -day practice regimen um, you know social media I'm not a big social media guy but um, you know they took responsibility of um, agendas and itineraries and hey let's go to a shoot around 7 a.m. ladies be I mean they just did a lot off the court as well as you know quality leaders on the court so um, I was fortunate to be part of their life for one year their basketball career and now I look forward to them doing great things in, in, out in the society. Open it up to the media. Uh, do, you, uh, do you guys uh, scholarship your kids? Do you have scholarship? No actually we're the Bureau of Indian Education we're a federal uh, college institution okay. so um, there is no scholarship. To, there is um, due to them having Indian, Native American blood, Indian descent. Um, they there is a kind of like a tuition waiver. There's a there's a actual not a tuition waiver. It's just a friendly cost that we'll put it that way compared to other universities. And there's all your kids are from basically the West. I mean, they're uh, Kansas West. Nobody from the East. No, they're primarily, yeah, Southwest, uh, Pacific Northwest, uh, Midwest, yeah. Nobody really from the East. Is, uh, how difficult is it? Uh, I guess it was a 12-hour bus. Was, did you bus or did you drive in car? Uh, fortunately, through Haskell Indian Nations University Administration, um, we were uh, provided the luxury of a charter bus. Okay, so. Okay. Um, we definitely felt the March Madness uh, on a nine-hour nine trip um, due to our mode of transportation. Because um, I guess you guys aren't close enough to make the flight. I think they said they try to limit flights to... I think 750 miles and we were like 680 or something. So we could have we could have uh, put in for a flight, but um, you know, with COVID, the pandemic, and all you know the, the regulations in the airport, we were comfortable. We stopped in St. Louis. We had barbecue, and we did what a team should do. We bonded the whole nine hours and, and enjoyed it. Is this your longest trip of the year? Uh, yes, we we do travel to Crow's Ridge in Arkansas, which is um, just the hour shorter, hour and a half. But yes, yeah, definitely the longest trip. Of the year. Is it a big deal to be to represent the school uh, where Jim Thorpe played? Uh, absolutely. I mean, he's an icon in Native American. Um, history in Native American athletics as well as he kind of equaled the playing field with non-Native Americans so truly uh, you know you, you walk in 
to Haskell Indian Nations University campus or you walk onto it and yeah definitely um, there's you know that sense of pride knowing that he represented us as Native Americans. I think he played baseball for the Reds. To yes, yeah. He did. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Thomas Moore, what do you see when you look at Thomas Moore? Is that what they, what you expected to see? For so I'm going to make a comment about Thomas Moore and uh, some might look at me rather different, misleading. And the way it's misleading is because they have so many weapons you look at their average uh, points per game per player, and it's like eight, seven, seven, eight, nine. You don't see a jump out 21 points per game or 19 points. So what I mean by misleading is they all they are all capable of a 21.9 or 20.9 or 19 and nine, but there's so many good players that that's what it takes is they, they have five ladies on the floor and, and ten on the bench that could come out and, and you know, contribute. So uh, it was, they were tough to scout because it wasn't like you, you go after the one or two players and then you key on them. It's like you had a key on ten different players. They pass the ball off the ground, get, get the ball to that shooter where the shooter wants to be. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I'm going to contribute that to uh, quality coaching, and you know that's that's repetition and practice. That's um, and they carry it out in a game. Is they know where players are going to be. They play well inside out, and they play well outside in. They do a good job of mixing as well as transition. They make good decisions. So um, you know, Coach Hans does an exceptional job. I mean, you look at his record. I think with uh, only under 30 losses, near 300 wins. It's amazing, and and. Um, you know, so we were, to be on the same court as Thomas More University was, uh, you know, it was an honor. And today it didn't look like an honor, but, to, you know, it showed us kind of the measuring stick for NAIA elite basketball and um, definitely some takeaways. That's a good first step. Yeah, extremely, uh, you know, first year here. Uh, I'm a JUCO product as far as coaching, so this is my first year as the NAIA. And, um, yeah, truly... Uh, you know, something to to look at when you look at Thomas Moore. Where'd you come from in, in Washington? Where? Uh, I was Central Washington, uh, Yakima, Washington, okay. located centrally about uh, south of Seattle, and uh, I mean, excuse, yeah, south of Seattle, north of Portland, so right in between Portland, Oregon, and Seattle, Washington. We'll do one or two more questions. Uh, I, I did uh, for years. Did the USC football? Uh, website and uh, spent more time than I probably liked in, uh, in Pullman. Okay. <laughs> so, and, uh, the Spokane, dogs. I like Spokane. Spokane yes, yeah, Spokane's was, nice. It was great. Yeah. And, um, so what did you think about coming in, coming east and feeling like? It's the first time in Kentucky. I mean, first time in just, you know, Thomas More University. Uh, you know, very exceptional. The, the facilities, you know, the locker room was it was nice to our girls. Um, this morning, um, Thomas More University administration allowed us a shoot around at uh, local high schools. So it was just very, uh, you know, very welcoming, and um, yeah, they have a lot to be proud of at Thomas More. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Thank you.